We are in America's spookiest city, Salem, Massachusetts. Come with me on a daycation. The city goes all out for Halloween. Most famously known for the Salem Witch Trials in 1692, you'll see a lot of witchy vibes sprinkled throughout. The Witch House, it's the only structure you can visit in Salem with direct ties to the Witch Trials. And to pay tribute to the so-called witches, you can say a little something at the Salem Witch Memorial. You'll notice there are no graves. That's because the witches, they did not get graves. But they do get flowers because we love the woman that was accused of being a witch. For an on-theme activity, my favorite is the witchery, where you can bind and make your own books and brooms. The powers. I don't feel it. At some point, you'll want to walk around and poke into the boutiques, which are all on brand. I love an antique store, <laughs> and this one's really good. You might find your next Halloween costume here or meet a new friend. <laughs> gotcha. All right, let's go. For your candy fix, you have to go to America's oldest candy company, Ye Old Peppa Company. Gibraltars were the first candy commercially sold in the United States, and I tried them for the first time ever. It's hard, it looks like this. Oh, it's minty. I mean, hard, my dentist is gonna hate me. I would eat, I would keep eating this. Would I buy it, like normally? No, but like when you're in Salem, yeah. Red Sandwich Shop is a local's favorite for lunch. It used to be called the London Coffee House and was where the Patriots met before the revolution. And there are other historic landmarks to swing by, including the Ropes Mansion, which was Allison's house in Hocus Pocus. You can walk through the gardens in the back too. One of my favorite things about historic Salem is they label the homes that have been built way back in the day. So you know exactly when they were built, 1782. Then head to the shipyard. It offers beautiful views of the port and right across from it is the custom house. Remember Nathaniel Hawthorne? Well, his office was right in there. Just down the street is the House of the Seven Gables, which gave Hawthorne inspo for the famous book he wrote. My personal pick for a place you have to go to in Salem, the Punto Art Museum. Where you can see 75 incredible murals within a three block radius. But first, have a day. 